What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. In today's episode, we're diving the Florida Keys. Got Ben here with me. We're gonna hopefully get some black grouper. It is Sunday, the 29th of March. May. My bad. 29th. May. May 29th. Uh, like three days before grouper season on the Gulf Coast. So we're gonna go out here, try and shoot some black grouper. Got a new gun. You guys saw in the last video, <laughs> red tide spear fishing, Pelagic 130. Hopefully shoot some big fish today and just have a good time. So catch you guys out there. Hey guys, Ben here. So we just hopped in. We we're checking out some new reef. Um, when we first hopped in the water, I saw a mutton in the off in the distance and he kind of disappeared i went down started grunting and then he came back in and when he came back in he kind of came close and then went to do a turn and take off on me so i took a shot it was a long shot i just shot barely under him um and that was kind of the first good fish i saw of the trip um i was kind of patrolling this little crevice uh this mutton popped up from the crevice and then went right back down into the crevice so then i swam to the crevice and started tracking him down it um, he finally slowed down for just a second. I got a decent shot, took it, um, and sort of spined him here. This guy was like 18 and a half or 18 and three quarter inches or something. So decent mutton, put him in the boat, um, and then kept checking new, uh, ledge line. What's going on y'all? Josh here. So Ben just got that nice mutton, the first fish of the day. I'm headed down to the bottom and I spotted a really nice black grouper right there. First one of the trip. He's just kind of out in the open. Wasn't the hardest fish ever to shoot, but still a nice fish. Turned just to look at me. He's pretty curious. And I take my time with my new gun. A really good holding shot on him. Swims through it. And I go to make sure to secure this fish. And then I get him off this little reef ball here. Pull him around and pull that chaff free. My first fish of the day and also my biggest. Hey guys, Ben again. So after Josh secured that really nice black, um, I wanted to try and find one for myself. So I started checking um, ledge just a little farther down. A lot of new stuff we were, we were hitting all day long. So I was keeping my eye out for a black. That mangrove caught my eye and that was a really nice mangrove snapper for the keys. So I decided I was gonna take the shot, um, hit him right behind the gill plate, um, kept tension on him, didn't want him to get all you know, rocked up in that ledge. Brought him right up to the surface. Um, and then took him and put him in the boat. Um, this next fish I saw actually several times in this ledge when I continued down the ledge after putting that mangrove in the boat. So I'd already unloaded my gun, ready to take a shot so I didn't mess up my shaft when I shot in there. Um, and I came in there kind of slow, being ready to take a shot. Um, I saw him, he went into the back of the cave, kept my light on him. He was kind of disoriented, thanks to the light. Um, I lined up, took a shot and then uh, hit him just a hair low, but um, I kept tension on him. I had plenty of uh, air left in me, so I went up in there to get him out. Um, whenever you can do that, that's the best way to go about it, to prevent fish from coming off or getting eaten or anything. So I got my hands on him, pulled him out. I was trying to be gentle because it was a low shot, and then as you can see, that nurse shark came in there trying to get a chunk out of him. Um, but I backed out with the fish, went on up the surface, and then um, took him to the boat. Um, I believe that was the third snapper species so far for me on this trip. Um, shot a nice mutton, then a nice mangrove, and then this nice dog snapper. We don't get these much by us, so I was very happy to shoot that nice chunky um, dog snapper. After that, we continued on to New Ledge. After I'd swam for a while, this mutton caught my eye off in the distance. I went down really slow and calm. You can see I'm trying to get his attention with those fingers. When he ducked behind that coral head, I extended my gun. He, you know, right as the apex of his curve, I took the shot and then wrapped around a big, you know, rock on the bottom. So I decided to go straight to him to just get my hands on him and take him up. The second I got my hands on him, he took the dog. And I was heartbroken because I haven't got a really good mutton yet. Um, and that was kind of the first good one I saw, that, like a good size one I saw on the trip. So when he ripped off, I was kind of really feeling it. Um, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Um, he ducked in a, in a ledge, actually and then popped back out when I was reloading the gun and I tracked him for like 200 yards, two, 300 yards. Um, I watched him settle behind this coral head. I, I gave him plenty of room so I wasn't spooking him and trying to just keep him in my viz so I could just keep a tab on him. 
Um, I watched him slow down and lay down on the bottom, so I, I went down far away from this rock and slowly swam up to it, and I was ready to take a shot the second I came around this rock. Once I got his eye, uh, got a got a viewpoint of his eye, I knew where to aim. Shot him right behind the eye and ended up stoning him. You can see his tail twitching there. He he just got stoned, and I was so hyped because I couldn't believe I saw a good one in the first place. And then after that, I even after messing it up, I got a second shot. I got and him. myself. So yeah. super happy to get that fish. That was my first like sort of. That's my biggest month to date. Definitely my my personal best and my best one of the trip. So I was super excited with that fish. Um, another new number. We just kept checking new ledge. Um, and then this yellowtail, typically you see these up in the water column. This guy was down under a ledge, so I was kind of a little thrown off for a second. He was really calm, though. So we wrap back around. I got like a gill plate top of the back shot. Um, aimed for the gill plate, hit like top of the back, and then uh, brought him up to the surface. That was our four snapper species. So yellowtail, mutton, mangrove, and dog snapper. Um, when I rounded this corner, this art artificial structure, um, I got around the, the, the bottom of it and um, a smaller black came up off the bottom. I couldn't tell if he was quite legal and then this, this nice juicy one came up behind him. Um, I believe this one was like 29 or so inches. He gave me a good shot, I took it. He uh, ducked up under and tried to, tried to rock himself up. Um, I kept positive pressure on him and tried to keep him out of all that. Um, I don't know how he didn't get wrapped on anything. Um, he tilted it up, he finally came out, he was freaking out. The shot was really good, really good holding shots. So once he came out, I got my hands on him, and then took him up to the surface, and I believe that guy was like 29, 7 inches. So really nice black there. First black I've shot in a long time, so I was super excited, and then I got right back to diving. I looked up under this slab, and then the first thing I saw was this really nice black. Um, he gave me a good shot, I took it, I didn't know how well I hit him, or if the flop were open, so I backed out, I went right back down, um, got a good breath because I knew it was going to be probably a longer dive. Went all the way up in there, um, and then I finally got my hands on the fish. After I was kind of deciding if I wanted to go all the way in there yet, I was like, yeah, I'll go back in there. I got the breath, so went in there, got my hands on the fish, and then on the way back out, I accidentally knocked my mask off my face a little bit. Got some water in my mask, um, and so I ended up letting go of the fish. And then when I got to the mouth of the cave, I pulled him back to me and then got my hands on him again and headed up to the surface. But this guy was really, really nice. He was bigger than the last one. I think he was 30-something inches. Um, and so I was super, super excited to get this fish. So Ben just got that nice black grouper there. And as I was getting ready to go down to the bottom, I spotted this really nice mutton. So I started my camera as fast as I could. Got a great holding shot on him. And secured a nice fish. That's got a nice mutton. He's about 24 inches. Not too bad. He's got a ton of rain, some big waves, all sorts of stuff. We're going to get back out there. Hopefully shoot some more blacks and stuff. We're taking a little bit of water over the front, but a little water never hurt nobody. So, <laughs> catch in the water. So we hop back in the water and the first thing I see is a nice juicy black grouper hovering over a nurse shark. Um, I tracked him down, he gave me a really nice like profile shot. Um, I came down off his right shoulder, um, I kind of fumbled my gun for a second and then I repositioned, pulled the trigger, hit him at kind of an angle and then took him up to the surface. This guy was over 21 pounds, it's my biggest black grouper yet. Just got back to the house, here's the whole haul at day two and the keys, there we go. Ben ended up getting a, a 21 pound black grouper right there then a bunch of 14 pounders or so just in that range and then a bunch of nice mutton Ben got a big one right there he was eight pounds eight pounds and then like a seven pounder right there definitely a great way to end the day there shot some pretty good fish thank you guys for watching if you haven't already hit that like button and we'll catch you in the next one